Hello everyone, this is Lester. Bring you D for Dark Dreams Don't Die Season 1. I believe this is episode 2. Because we actually we done episode 1 and the prologue. So let's continue and see what's next. Oh, and they're looking for a D. I didn't see you again this time either, little Peggy. <laughs> a passenger simply vanishing from an aircraft mid-flight. Does that sound possible to you? Unbelievable. What are you doing here? Mm. This plane is going down! Fucking with my fake eye, weren't you? No more messing with this puppy! I'm knocking this one out of the park! <gasps> Let him go! <gasps> he... vanished? Never talk to me again! <sighs> Damn Next it. time, I'll break more than you watch. <sighs> Damn it. <laughs> David. <laughs> this is a story of a man with a very strange fate. Hey, look. It's like I've grown wings. <laughs> okay, so my guess is that David is then the D. Notice how his name was so styled D. I'm just guessing, I watched too much movie. So after the whole time I'm chasing after people named with type D, I'm actually the one that murdered little Peggy. That's what I think. Might not be true. Well, I'm supposed to shit. I'm David Young. Who are you? David? You're David? Why you know me? There's a spot built duck with her duckling over there. <laughs> Let's play with them. She sounded like she knew David. Uh, I mean, I understand this is little Peggy, but I don't think up to this point she knew who David is. But apparently she does. She's like, oh yeah, David, yeah, David. So she knew me. Okay. 
Mister, are you really... David Young? <laughs> you don't look like what I imagined. I heard you were really cool looking. Why do you have a beard like that? It's kind of scary. <laughs> Why, why are you here now? Can I push you? Yeah, I'll just push you. You know, I almost died once. <laughs> Can you believe it? The ice on the lake just started to crack. I was so scared. But my two dads saved me. My two wonderful dads. You almost died once. And can I believe it? Yes, I can because you are dead now. Come on, let's go. Let's play with the family of ducks. You say you want to play that duck. I mean, I prefer to eat them. <laughs> They're frozen. I can't push her. She's too far. Yes. As you all might know, I like to push stuff. doing here David I'm looking for something something yeah I'm looking for the D. something so what is it a lead that will let me meet someone special one more time a lead what does it look like I don't know you do so the What'll you do once you find it? I'm gonna change the past. <laughs> it's a statue. You can't change the past, David. <gasps> Little Peggy. You can't change the past. You do know that, don't you, David? No. I can do it. I'm going to change it. Time is always moving into the future. It's always been that way. But... You can't change the past. You just have to accept it. I belong to the past. I'm dead, David. No! I am dead. I am dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Dead. I'm dead. I am dead. I'm 
Sekejap in the bar tak pergi ni It's always this way When I'm diving into the past <coughs> And I fall asleep I get knocked out I end up back here Teddy. 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 It's really gotten late. This belongs to the person who jumped me on the passenger flight. If this is a fragment of some sunglasses, then that narrows it down to only one suspect. But is he really the type to use a stun gun? You never <sighs> know, David. It's no good. The pieces aren't fitting, little Peggy. Huh? Teddy's laptop. We right here, laptop. I assure you, investigating a letter is the last thing that I will do. Okay, my vision restored. Oh, I see big wings. Okay, good stuff. I thought I saw something yeah there. Can I pick it up? They put something there when they don't even allow you to click. The ancient Egyptians were the first to draw shapes among the stars. <laughs> so beautiful. our ancestors ever imagined we'd have a star-spangled banner? <laughs> Looking at the stars like this makes me feel like time has been repeating itself since long ago. Like I've met you many times. And parted with you many times. It's such a strange feeling. Me too. Like I've met you many times. And then... See a little show there. Okay. 
Yeah, I'd be yeah. Let the let the Give me some credit. I will take it. watch you really do wear it every day <laughs> I bought that watch with my first paycheck you said you treasure it forever Good luck. So you'll come back safely to me again, my David. So, is it really necessary to smash the chakras? The first on the scene was Dr. August Oldman, the man who raised little Peggy. The shock was so great, it turned his hair white overnight. According to his testimony, by the time he found Peggy, I wasn't there anymore. As luck would have it, someone had already taken me to the hospital and stuck me in the ICU. After recovering and returning home, I found him there. How did you come to this? <laughs> David Young. Do you think the past can be changed? Why, why does he At that moment, it? all I could do was stand there. But now... Okay, I don't feel right. You hear about David? Seems he has no memory of the night of the incident. According to his statement, the only thing he does remember are the final words of the victim. What did she say? 
Look for D. D? 